Hi! Today I want to show you how to solder a 5V step DC-DC to a Xerophone. And here's how the end result looks. And this DC-DC is used for the USB port power to power USB devices that actually need 5V. And of course, as you can see, this soldering is not conventional kind of soldering. But that's the solution that I found to be the most hobbyist friendly. So first thing, you get this this DC, and the first thing you do is you want to grab the USB port shield like this with pliers and tear it off from one side and from another. And that's needed because we need to remove the connector because we cannot use it for the zero phone. Like that. Basically the idea is simple. You heat up all of the four pads at once and you remove the connector. So now we are left with small PCB. Make sure that there is no like PCB pieces on this side. Just clean it a little bit. And then what you have to do is you have to solder these four holes. There's basically two contacts. You actually can accidentally not solder them well enough. That can happen if you don't hold it long enough uh, for the solder to actually flow to this ground pin or this pin in this case. And so what you have to do is you actually have to put a lot of solder here and you have to position this board and then you have to hold it for a while and maybe even uh, get your soldering iron through the hole and touch the backboard a little bit. It's actually not well positioned right now so I'm going to reposition it. As you can see by the way the pins make contact which is good which is exactly what we need. Now you solder the second set of contacts. You don't have to get your soldering iron through the holes, but I think it helps. Okay. And now you have to solder the outputs, both the ground and the 5 volts, to the pads on the PCB. I personally use small pieces of pin header. I just take them like that with pliers and I get them out of their plastic shroud. I throw this away for a short while. And what you'll want is tweezers for you to help position the pins. The first thing you do is you cover the pin here with some solder. Then you take the tweezers and position the pin in a way that makes it hold its position. And so it's stuck here nicely. And then you solder the other end of the pin to the pad on the PCB. And then you repeat it for the second connection. What you will kind of want to do is avoid the pins touching the resistor and the LED on the board. It's just not pretty. It's not going to actually cause any damage, but it's not pretty. Okay, so there's a little bit too much solder here, but it's also not that big of an issue. Maybe we can remove some of that. Oh, I accidentally filled in the hole, so of course what I do is I take the solder sucker
like that. Thank you for watching, hope it helps you solve your problem and see you next time.